Neil and Linda Brooks face the music. The couple returning home to front court on fraud charges. We have followed the former Olympic hero and his wife around the world. And today, their long-running saga took another surprise twist. Neil, Linda, anything you'd like to say ahead of this morning's court appearance? Sure, I'll speak to everyone just over here. Come with us. Yeah. Going to have a chat? Sure. After years of delays, Neil Brooks and wife Linda arrive for their day in court. First, I'm happy to be back in Australia. This has been 14 years that we've waited to finally tell our side of the story. In a court of law, we're extremely happy about this. The former Olympic swimmer happy to answer questions outside. Are you anxious about today? Of course, you're always anxious about certain things, but because you know what's at stake. But I feel really positive because I, I was there. Also in court, Glenn Melchek, the man who alleges Brooks ripped him off. Okay. In 2012, Glenn tells a current affair his involvement in the Brooks business cost him everything. The personal toll to me with me and my family is, is absolutely devastating. I'm really confident once people see the evidence and the facts that are going to be rolled out today with our legal team and that um, I'll be cleared of all these charges. Police allege in February 2008, Brooks and his wife Linda fraudulently induced Glenn Milchek to invest $2 million in a sports clothes business run by the Brooks. The Brooks allegedly misrepresenting the value and success of the business. Today the court heard that the business collapsed within six months and that eight years after that, Glenn Milchek went to police alleging fraud. But before he did that, the lawyer acting for Neil Brooks made the sensational claim that Mr Melchick hired two bikies to attack Neil Brooks in a Gold Coast car park. Under cross-examination, Glenn Melchick said the two men were debt collectors, but the Brooks barrister Christopher Wilson said they were bikies. Mr Melchick replied, I didn't know that, they were referred to me. Mr Melchick says he didn't see anyone hit Brooks, instead saying he fell over running with thongs. These photos allegedly showing the injuries Neil Brooks sustained. Police investigated and Glenn Melchick pleaded guilty to causing public nuisance. Do you have anything to say about the fraud? Is it $2 million? The Brooks were arrested in 2017 when they flew separately into Australia from where they were living overseas. But after appearing in court, they were allowed to keep their passports and leave the country again, at the time promising to return. Can you guarantee us you will be returning to face the court? Oh, absolutely. I didn't have to come this time. I wanted to be here. But it was to take five years before the couple was able to return to Australia. COVID hit and for the longest time they couldn't get back, eventually a magistrate ordering them to return or face being arrested. How's Bali Paradise treating you? All right? We last caught up with Neil Brooks in Bali four months ago. Is business booming? Yeah, everything's OK, mate. The couple appear to be running several successful businesses, including restaurants and clothing stores. Do you Thank resent you. having to leave Bali for this? Not at all. Not at all. A current affair has been investigating allegations against Neil and Linda Brooks for more than a decade across four continents. And the couple has always maintained their innocence, as they did again today. And in fact, in court, seem quite relaxed. Before the proceedings, they were sharing jokes and holding hands. Are you happy to finally have had your day in court? And... Absolutely. Yeah, very happy. Glenn Milchek told the court he had concerns about doing business with Brooks because of his publicised battle with booze, something Brooks confessed to a current affair 22 years ago. It's the loneliest I've ever been in my life, but I was out of control. But Mr Milchek gave evidence today he was told Brooks had conquered his demons and wouldn't be the face of the business. All I would like to do is uh, let the courts you know, address the matter and we'll deal with it from that. And after the first dramatic day of evidence, Neil and Linda Brooks leave with little to say. Is there anything you'd like to say at all, Linda? How's Bali treating you? It's not appropriate for me to make a comment at this stage, but I'll be more than happy to talk to you tomorrow. So thanks so much. Thank, Thank you. you. And the Brooks are back in court tomorrow.